Welcome to Upsides, I'm Matt Ufford, here to preview the five best games of the NFL Week 9. Let's get into it first, Chiefs at Bills. Don't even try to steal my job. The undefeated 8-0 Chiefs, best team in the NFL by record, traveling to Buffalo where it's going to be chilly. It's always cold in Buffalo, it's a wasteland. Everyone's just fat and sad about the Bills. They never heard the depression ended. There's still bread lines in Buffalo. Let's talk about the Chiefs' strengths. On defense, it's pretty much the entire defense. On offense, it's Jamal Charles, who's day-to-day -day with a knee injury. He'll probably miss a couple days of practice this week. For the Buffalo Bills on offense, you've got CJ Spiller has that high ankle sprain. Will he play? Eh, probably better if he doesn't. Real story of this game is gonna be defenses. You've got Tom Bali, Justin Houston, and for the Bills, Mario Williams. Yep. 10 sacks now? Mario Williams has 11. Let's get to our picks. The Chiefs are favored by three to three and a half points. We'll take the Bills. I think they're a plucky team. What do you say? I was originally thinking Chiefs, but uh, I think I've changed my mind, and if you can get three and a half, I, I do like the Bills in this one. Yeah. I think the city of Buffalo wins, just in general. Saints at Jets is the best of the early games on Sunday. Saints are six and one, coming off their beatdown of the Bills at home. They travel to New Jersey to face the Jets, who have continued with their win a game, lose a game, win a game, lose a game strategy by getting the doors blown off in Cincinnati. Whoo, Geno Smith has now thrown three pick sixes in the last two weeks. Matt Schaub says, I like your style. My favorite storyline in this game, the Ryan brothers facing off. And they have an ongoing bet that whoever wins the game gets to sleep with the other guy's wife. Yeah, they're not just brothers, they're Eskimo brothers. We should probably put in a disclaimer that I just made that up. That's not true. Rex Ryan and his foot fetish, I mean running game, uh, going up against Rob Ryan, the Wolfman. Oh, and the revitalized Saints defense. The one weakness, giving up the most yards per carry in the league, so expect the Jets to be running the ball a lot. Note that uh, rookie cornerback D. Milliner got benched for the second time last week after making Andy Dalton look like a Hall of Famer. Turns out Drew Brees kind of actually is a Hall of Famer. The line on this game is Saints by five and a half to six. I'm throwing to Alex, what do you think? Uh, I think the win-loss, win-loss streak finally comes to an end. I think New Orleans wins handily. I, I, want, I want to agree with you. I want to root for the Saints, but I think the Jets bounce back. Like, this is what they do. They're, they're an every other week team. They're gonna bounce back. Might not win, but I think they'll cover that touchdown. The four and three Chargers travel to Washington. Uh, they travel to Maryland. Uh, how, many, uh, how many check bags do you think they each <laughs> you, think they, you think they took 50 oh, or 95 from D.C. to... to... Probably drove from San Diego, that's, right? That's really the most <laughs> interesting facet of this game. The 4-3 and three Chargers are coming off their bye and heading to the East Coast to face the Redskins. Robert Griffin III, we're all curious about how he's going to bounce back from A, maybe his worst game as a pro, and B, a left knee injury that has left him day-to-day-ish. Eh, what, what's his status? Uh, he should be fine. It's not the knee he had sur just had surgery on, so he'll be good to go. He's, He's got extra knees. It's cool. When the Chargers have the ball, it is the story of Philip Rivers, who was sacked 49 times last year. Would you say Philip Rivers has like the most punchable face in the NFL? I, I can't imagine Philip Rivers looking in the mirror and being like, I look good. <laughs> Brandon Merriweather returns from suspension. Uh, what was what was his quote? He's aiming to quote end people's careers. You got to tear people's ACLs and mess up people's knees. Which is what I say every morning I come into the office. What a dumb f piece of shit. I think I'm gonna take the Redskins, even though I think the Chargers can win outright. I'm just gonna go with the home team here. I'm with you. I'm going Skins too. Ugh. Sunday night football: Colts at Texans. AFC South rivalry. Andrew Luck versus Case Keenum. What a disappointing year it's been for the Texans. Sorry, Houston. J.J. Watt's talents have kind of gone to waste. The uh, Matt Schaub, that era kind of crumbled quickly. Injury bug not just hitting Houston. Reggie Wayne, wide receiver number one, future Hall of Famer, tore his ACL. He's done for the season. That leaves T.Y. Hilton, Darius Hayward Bay, Griff Whalen. Is Griff Whalen a name? Andrew Luck's former college team? It's just syllables. Griff Whalen sounds like a lead in a TNT drama. <laughs> Griff Whalen. The line is indie by only two and a half, and I think I'm gonna take that. Yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty surprisingly low. Now, Indianapolis has been iffy on the road. They, uh, they dropped their second game of the year in Miami. They also lost to Oakland at Oakland. 
Um, I'm gonna take the Colts in this one. Yeah, come look at this hair. Do I have a no. stray hair? It's, really it's yeah, it's like in the side of his neck and it's super Oh my long. god! What? Oh. <laughs> and it's like not coming out of a mole or anything. It's like That's like, <laughs> it's, it's like four inches long. How was that in your neck? Monday Night Football features the four and three Bears at the five and two Packers NFC North rivalry. This is the only game in week nine between two teams with winning records. And one of the teams is starting Josh McCown. Fun fact about the McNowns, they were all born as Siamese triplets. Oh, Not I didn't know separated. that. Yep. Is Cade McNown still married to Heather, gotcha. Heather Kozar? This is important. This is worth waiting for. <laughs> That's the greatest personal Wikipedia thing. It's, it's just about how Garcia. he was charged with illegal possession of a <laughs> handicapped parking pass while playing football at UCLA. Yeah. <laughs> Busted. <laughs> yeah, I did some time. <laughs> <laughs> Long story short, that's how we're talking about Josh McCown. Bears are looking to win in Lambeau Field for the first time in the Obama administration. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, since the Brett Favre era. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> <laughs> Testament to just how amazing Aaron Rodgers is. He has lost Randall Cobb, he's lost James Jones, he's lost your Michael Finley, and uh, I think what this game is really going to come down to is whoever scores more points. The line is Green Bay by 11. I think I'm gonna take Green Bay. Me too. Josh McCown has one of the league's best eBay seller ratings. Those are the upsides, five games to watch or at least have on in the background. Do not even look at the rest of the slate of week nine. It's ugly. However, stick with it. The NFL will reward you with entertainment, with fantasy delights. Stick with it. We'll see you next week.